The Honorable George Miller of California, three minutes. The gentleman from California is recognized for three minutes. I want to thank the ranking member for yielding. The legislation before us today would really destroy the ability of the Congress to create new regulations, to create laws to protect the health and safety of the American citizens. It would also provide a great second bite at the apple for every special interest in this country that doesn't like the, the, the regulations to protect clean water and safe drinking water and the health and safety of our workers and our children at play. If you're wondering what it would look like when we wipe out the health and safety protections for Americans, you, look, you need to look no further than the Upper Big Branch Mine in West Virginia, where an explosion ripped through the mine and killed 29 miners in April of this, this year. That mine was operated as if there were no safety regulations. It was, they treated their workers as if there were no mine safety rules at all because they overruled all of those regulations through criminal activity, through illegal activity, and those miners were forced to work with essentially none of the value of health and safety regulations designed to protect their lives. And what happened in that mine without those regulations, without the benefit of those safety protections? An explosion ripped through that mine traveling 2,000 feet per second, and it consumed the lives of 29 miners. 29 workers died and their families will never be the same. That's what happens when you take away the basic worker protections intended to make our economy function and to keep our workers safe. And that's what this bill on the floor today would do. Now it's even more interesting that the man who broke the laws, created that system of no regulations for the miners in the upper big branch mine for his own personal benefit and the benefit of that of the corporation at the expense of his workers, may be getting back into the mining business. Donald Blankenship got $86 million golden parachute after 29 mine workers died in West Virginia, and now he wants to open a new mine. People who live in coal mining states like Kentucky should be aware that a serial violator of basic mine safety laws is coming to your state soon, seeking to operate a mine. Mine companies under his leadership have engaged in dangerous and deadly practices that would pose a threat to mine workers in your state. In the two years preceding the explosion of the Massey Company mines, they were cited over 10,000 times a year for violations. Under this provision, the coal miners come into Congress, they get the regulations to cease to, cease to exist, and they can go on their way, and there won't be 10,000 citations for the violation of occupational self and safety to protect those miners and other miners will lose their lives, like those in the Upper Big Branch Mine. I say to my colleagues in this House, you must defeat this incredibly offensive bill to every American, and you must do so in the name of these 29 mine workers that Gentlemen's were killed in the expired. Upper Big Branch Mine in West Virginia. They died Gentlemen's because of a expired. ruthless mine owner game the system. Let us not have a special interest game the Gentlemen's system in the Congress of the United States. And I yield back the balance of my the time. The gentleman from Texas is recognized.